Now, is this a reasonable way for people to look at themselves? Is this a realistic uh, self-perception for people to have? Well, I believe that it is. I believe that uh, we should, and we're quite right, in seeing ourselves as being fundamentally good human beings, as being good people. We've evolved over millions of years where it's been survival of the fittest, the weakest have presumably died out and the strongest have survived. There's all number of positive talents that a, a human being can have and can be born with, and when a new child is born into the world, they don't know what those talents are going to be. Uh, but everybody can rest assured that uh, they haven't made it this far in evolution over a million years to have reached it to today's age, unless they've inherited some powerful qualities from their parents. Now, I see this uh, in my surgery, and uh, one of the most uh, evident things that I notice about babies and toddlers is the positive uh, sense of mind that they have. Uh, they might uh, be miserable, by the way. They'll cry and, and be in, in pain, or if they're tired or hungry, these things will make them upset and, uh, and behave with, with suffering and misery. But if you take out those factors, children by and large are pretty happy. New babies, if they don't have any of those uh, problems going on, they generally just sleep most of the time and they're pretty happy. When they start waking up to the world as they get older, they're actually very positively interested in it. As soon as they can look, they, they look around, they'll feel and touch things. As soon as they can move, they start crawling with great purpose and determination. They're actually very adventurous and very positive. And I don't think it's surprising that we have actually got these inbuilt positives within us. If you look at the evolution of mankind, it's been man's adventurousness and his, his determination to get out there and make change that has helped us to survive and be the species that we are today. And so, to my mind, human beings, we have these positive qualities that are within us. Now, what is our role as parents when we bring up children? Well, I think there's just one really fundamental thing. That at the end of the day, when our kids have finally finished all the parenting that we can give them and they've finished school and they're about to head out into the adult world, we don't want them to be mixed bags. We want them to grow up and know who they are. We want them to have a sense of the things that they like and the things that they don't like. We want them to know the things that they have a natural affinity towards so that they can put all that together and say, yes, this is me, and therefore this is the direction that I want to try and go in in life. If they can see themselves this way, then they're a lot stronger. Now, life is not always easy. People make mistakes. If you can centre yourself on this positive person that you are here, it's not so difficult to deal with the, the mistakes that you make in life because you see them as being separate as to who you are. Um, people might cr uh, make a criticism of something that you've done. Well, that's okay too because you can look at that and say, yeah, well, I know that I'm not perfect. I know that I have these, these problem areas uh, and, and that's great because now I can learn from that. Hopefully I can get to get rid of these, this bad habit which I didn't even realise that I had, by the way. Unfortunately, of course, people who see themselves as in the mixed bag, they don't like people focusing on any of their negatives or their mistakes. So therefore, they're very sensitive to criticism. They'd rather not hear it at all, or they'll react with hostility. So as a result of that, they tend to keep these negatives within them in the mixed bag uh, concept. So all of these things uh, are great problems if you see yourself in the mixed bag way. On the other hand, if you can use the positive centered approach, it gives you a perspective that you can use to centre yourself and try and get your life directed by this true person as to who you are. Now, how in practice do you actually go about changing then from seeing yourself as a mixed bag to using positive centred psychology? Well, that's what we'll talk about in the next video. But I can tell you now that we can do it by looking at your past, looking at your, your present and the vibes that you're feeling now in your life, the ups and downs of your day-to-day -day life, and also your aspirations for the future. In all these areas of your life, there are clues as to who you really are. And by getting in touch with those factors, you can start to identify yourself. Once you've done that, you're much stronger, you do get less anxiety, you do get less depression. You'll find it easier to have relationships with other people, and you'll have a much more balanced way of being able to live your life.